2003 Chevy Silverado. This is 1500 5.3 liter V8 engine. The guy asked me if I can look at this truck and I just didn't want to do it but I agreed to it and I'm kind of glad, glad I did. Uh, this is that dreaded code for uh, throttle position sense on throttle body. Very common problems on GM vehicles. This was also having a, some other codes uh, that kind of caught my attention so we can see here that I have a, uh, this is constant, they got an EVA, EVA purge that's a uh, hard code. Um, P1516 electronic throttle module versus throttle position performance. U code 0107 loss communication with the throttle actuator. U code 10126 lost class 2 commun communication with the uh, Transmission control module, loss of um, EBCM, EBTA, basically communication code between uh, 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 PCM, body con uh, transmission control modules basically was affected and uh, in a, uh, so anyhow, I um, cleared the codes, uh, took the truck for the test drive, couldn't duplicate the problem, and then uh, I, um, as I was lo looking around, started up, and it happened at, uh, as I cranked the engine over, flagged the code, and I looked the code, and it had only code for a, uh, for a throttle, for the uh, uh, purge valve, I think it was, the purge control circuit fault, that's not our concern, and also had a loss communication with throttle actuator, P, P0107. Uh, I had a truck before that had the same problem with the same code and I end up actually rewiring a uh, ground wire on a uh, throttle actuator. Uh, but this time we had this other, this is all, those are all intermittent problems. Uh, we have this other U code 1026 loss communication with the uh, uh, transmission control module. And uh, my next step was to check the ground on a uh, uh, throttle actuator. The throttle actuator is this little module right next to the uh, uh, brake booster and uh, here's the black wire, uh, this one here, that's, that's the ground. So I pierced the wire, uh, put the um, uh, voltmeter and also a loaded circuit with a, uh, with a light bulb and uh, there's a splice somewhere in this harness, I think splice 102. And um, um, I wiggle the wire, observing the voltage, looking at the light bulb, trying to see if I'm going to drop that voltage on the ground side of this module. It never happened. Uh, the main ground for, a, uh, for this throttle actuator is on the left side of the engine, in, in the back. It's on the block. And there's, I think, this 103. And there's a one, uh, 104, I believe. 104. Now there's a 103 ground point. It's the black and white wire, and that wire is actually main ground, one of the main grounds for a uh, power control module and a transmission control module. And guess what I found here? As this engine has been replaced before, and as I'm pulling this harness, I noticed this you know, black and white wire and pulled it out, and it was completely disconnected. I'm actually in the process of of repairing, but let me let me show you the the, the, the way that was uh, that looked before I cut the end of it. Here's the uh, this was the end of the wire, so it was it was got rusted out, and um, you know it was just pro the problem was basically the ground to the uh, power control module, but uh, transmission control module, but also they flagged the code for uh, because it would lose communication completely, and it would lose communication with a uh, transmission control module and with a throttle. Uh, uh, body module so it's very deceiving code has nothing to do with the throttle body or transmission it's a main ground here that's a cause and an issue and the the, uh, the wire was frayed and um, it was just uh, causing these these problems and here's that uh, I've seen this black and white wire so well I said that the ground has got to be the black wire and then look at the diagram and sure enough there's a, a black and white wire let me actually So black and white wire has the ground, 
there's another ground here so it's a, it has a splice so that the ground is on, the, on pin 67 ground on pin 64 and that is actually uh, 103 the right side of the engine compartment and then uh, goes to splice uh, 110 and it goes up and gives the ground to I think upper more places in the, the ground it's on 27 and 24 so they're very important so anyhow uh, this uh, transmission control module the, the transmission control module and the power control module are the same unit so these guys are losing a ground and flagging all kinds of crazy codes uh, causing a lot of confusions and uh, so when you have these especially with the U code with a uh, uh, throttle actuator make sure to check these grounds here uh, just so you know take uh, any of the uh, these grounds at the power, power control module and uh, uh, check it and see what voltage you have and sure enough this was a uh, this was a problem so I'm gonna I'm not gonna go back to the block of the engine I will find another better place to uh, rewire it and uh, it will take care of it. I'm done with the repair I choose to use a this ground point here I use the eyelet, solder the wire around it, routed behind the engine now somebody put a extra ground wire you can see here all the way to the battery ground and uh, so this is perfect ground there so I'm not gonna chase and because that the ground point is way behind I mean it's impossible to get the only way to get to it is, with, is to remove the uh, uh, intake manifold and uh, I'm not gonna do that so I got lucky on this one uh, I was just uh, you know by having those U codes after I clear I, I think I said it, after I cleared the code and I was struggling to uh, re <clears throat> the, duplicate the problem and then it ha finally happened and then uh, it was a only code it was it was for a purge valve and a, it was for a loss communication with a uh, throttle body actuator and uh, so every time you have the, those kind of codes pay attention to these ground wires and uh, that's it I mean it's uh, uh, so basically I, I, I was really focused on the ground but I was focused on the ground for throttle body actuator I looked the diagram and I was hoping that is the same ground for throttle body and the PCM but it was not and then later on I was thinking about it you know I was thinking if it's of course the same ground he's gonna flag the same code however uh, having a bad ground on the PCM itself you know PCM is going to lose the communication with that guy and it's gonna flag the code for that as well and of course uh, the uh, the PCM is located right down here but uh, power control module and tra transmission control module it's the, same, it's, it's the same unit so internally they lost communication between each other so it's really really kind of uh, goofy you know it's case study and also now the, uh, the, the, the throttle body code and the throttle pos uh, position pedal code it is not the cause it is a as a fact of a loss of communication basically the computer is blind cannot talk to the throttle body actuator and the throttle body actuator does not you know since they, they, they these those two guys cannot uh, talk to each other the computer along with the code of the lost communication also flags the code for the uh, throttle position sensors because that guy is actually providing those uh, throttle position uh, I mean throttle body actu uh, the actuator no, no, yeah I mean throttle body module is the one who provides the input from a uh, these uh, th throttle position sensors and uh, and uh, the um, pedal position sensors. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna take it for test drive tomorrow, but I'm I'm confident this will take care of it. Well, good morning, guys. I have not started the truck yet. <clears throat> We're gonna take it for a short test drive. I'm not sure how much fuel I have. That gauge is completely empty. Uh, it can be just a bad gauge, but. Uh, We'll see. One thing I actually forgot to mention is that uh, when he he got this truck, as I said, like like a week ago or so, and uh, the first time it started happening right after he cranked the engine over, and that actually makes sense because of the bad ground. We're overloading all the circuits in the car during the cranking, and if that ground drops down, you know, so to speak, whole hell is going to break loose because the computer is going to go crazy. Not having a good ground is going to flag all kinds of codes. 
and uh, you know cause cause all kinds of issues so and then <coughs> yesterday <coughs> when the car completely shut off and not really shut off it would it would it would, it would you know you can start the truck but you can't you can't really drive it at all actually he had a trailer on with some brush and stuff uh, and I think what happens at that time actually it, 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 the transmission control module went dead as well so it was really a lot of codes and uh, you know it just it just didn't work right so let's let's see and turn the key on first good no check engine locks well there's a go I think this is the uh, one for a um, uh, purge valve, actually. Let's check that real quick. Okay, got the skin tool hooked up. When uh, when you know when we have these issues with the throttle body and the transmission control module and all that, it's it's gonna um, yeah, let's say the EVAP purge control, EVAP purge control. Okay. <clears throat> when we uh, have a problem with the throttle body, or transmission control module, anything like that. A power control module is going to be. You're going to have a message here: reduce power. And you can actually, you could actually feel the engine is kind of almost like a misfires. It, it really. You, you you will see the reduced power on the engine for sure. All right. You can see 240,000 miles on it. I'm confident this will fix the problem. Again, I said <clears throat> it was first. It was happening only when he cranks the engine over, and uh, again, it may absolutely makes sense now because with the bad ground, you're overloading the all the circuits in the truck in the car during cranking, and it drops that ground and then causes all kinds of problems. Now, when you again, when you when you when you are dealing with these codes, pay attention to those U codes. Because anything else, it's it's the effect, not the cause of the issue. Uh, something else also. That ground, uh, it also goes down to a uh, park neutral switch and all that. So you would think they would flag the code uh, for that switch as well, but it it would not. Uh, but anyhow. And. Um, a purge valve, that's, he doesn't want to fix that, he just want to get it, he wants the truck back and he does a, like a, a tree service of some sort. Uh, so far so good, runs okay, and then the brake light is flashing and it has the airbag and all that kind of stuff. But, can do we can uh, crank the engine like a dozen of times just to see if it kind of if it happens again but that was it I mean that was background no question uh, so I was kind of focusing on background as well because of, uh, he told me that engine has been replaced in a, in, in the past at some point so you know every time you have a those kind of work be done it harness always can get a problem, causes a problem. Come back and my uh, low fuel light just came on, so I can't really drive it anymore. And uh, but I'm pretty confident that's going to be fixed. Again, if you if you get the uh, limpo mode, you're going to have reduced power message on your on your dash so let's go ahead and uh, crank this thing a couple of times hmm. we got ABS light going on
All right, everything else, it's that's. If he wants to fix that, I can take care of that as well. If he wants to fix the uh, purge valve, the check that circuit, but this was his main concern. He couldn't drive the truck, so everything else, if he wants to work on it, I can, I can take care of that as well. But for now, this will be it. Okay, guys, <clears throat> this is a the most dreaded codes on these GMs. I absolutely hate it. I uh, I want to. Ha I I had a uh, Silverado a couple of years ago that I literally was a part changer. I the shop already replaced the um, um, throttle body. Then they re rewire a uh, connector on the throttle body. It was flagging the code for a um, miscommunication with the. Uh, throttle body module, I've got the new module, there was a little, little, little bit of uh, water intrusion on it and it, every time it would be okay for like a um, couple months and they would start doing all the crazy stuff again and what I end up doing actually I cut the black wire, the ground wire from the throttle body module, rewired it to the block of the engine and never had a problem anymore. It was like a year and a half, it never happened anymore. So we go that. But that, that ground was okay, I was checking it, I was loading the ground and everything, but intermittently it was dropping somehow. There's a splice in that harness that can cause a problem, but you know, wiggling and everything never could, I could never duplicate the problem. And after I got that ground rewired and it was fine. Uh, and on this one is actually, it was a one for a transmission and a power control module that was bad. And uh, um, when you look at these grounds, uh, right in the back of the engine, you will see the black wire. Right above the uh, cam shaft position sensor is the um, uh, the black wire on the passengers on the driver's side, and black and white wire on a uh, on a driver's side. I'm sorry, the black wire on the driver's side. That's for the for the throttle body actuator, and um, on uh, passenger side is a black and white wire ground uh, that is for a um, uh, PCM, TCM, and the uh, you know, the, the park neutral switch and all that. There's a couple more stuff that's grounded by that, but by that by the wire. So check those; they they can be a real problem. All right, guys, that's it. See you later. Bye bye.